Hi there everyone. Time for another scan video here. This cauliflower I scanned with the pop maybe a couple of months ago and printed it. I printed this one on my Prusa printer. And someone asked if how, how small an object I could scan so I decided today to try that and uh, tried several. This is about the optimum size here. This This cauliflower is within the roughly 40 cubic millimeter volume uh, area that I heard someone say is about the, the limit. I don't know if it's true or not, but it appears to be so, so far. I don't know where the uh, black dots come from. Well, I know those black dots are coming from the turntable, the ones you see there. Here we go into the scan. Into the scan. I usually play around with it a little bit before I start to scan. There I'm repositioning it again try to try to get the scan to do the best the first pass you know my during the that that one session so that I don't have so much touch up cleanup because I'm not expert at these modeling programs I I don't even know how to use blender yet so I'm just doing the best scans I can and get the best results that's why you see I collect a lot of frames I collect a lot of frames it kind of bogs down my computer but that's okay uh, going for good results. I really like this uh, pop too. It, the color is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And I'm still working on my lighting. I, I have a lot of lighting deficiencies. You can see the background flash as my uh, subject moves around. I didn't notice that so I started videoing. But now that I'm videoing, the, videoing these things and now we finished using, got a mesh, and I'm going to texture this just to show you what happens when I texture. I don't like the texture. Maybe the devs at Rebel Point could shed some light on this, eh? Let us know what those black dots are in the texturing. There you have it.